So this is part, I don't know, part five, I think, on these David Bradley tractors. This is getting kind of out of hand. So the other ones, I think since last episode, which is part four, I got the hoods put on, the three blue tractors. Uh, those are basically done other than decals, some just like little small little dumb finishing touches, and then those are good to go. Those are completely done. And then this one here has basically everything to go. Uh, this is the only gas-powered one, so I have the engine right there. It's not in very good shape, but I can fix that. So I'm going to start off by getting it a rolling chassis, and then we will figure out on how to put this clutch assembly back together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the steering stuff on there, and then I'll set you up on a tripod and show you the clutch being put together. This took a lot longer than it should have. I started to get a little bit more in depth with it than what I did in this video, but it got way out of hand. It took probably two, three hours to get it adjusted to where it actually can drive. I started shredding the smaller belt that you see me putting on there. Uh, turns out I needed one slightly bigger. So one that is literally one inch larger is too big. That one you see me putting on is too small. So it's, I don't know. So I went with the one slightly too big. It, I'm not getting full speed out of it because that very drive setup has to be exact. So I'm just like, you know what, whatever. Close enough, it does drive. It still likes to shred the belt a little bit, so I don't really know why. Everything's lined up good, there's no rust on the pulleys. So I gotta look into that before it gets driven too much more. And then of course, that pulley you see me tightening down now, that's just the tensioner for the rear belt. Uh, that one, it's like if it's too loose, it ain't gonna work. If it's too tight, it ain't gonna work. It has to be just right. And there's just that one spot where it's just right. Getting it to that point is really difficult. The rear pulley here, I had to wait a few days till I could get to the store and get a belt because the 59 uses a different belt than the other ones. Uh, this is used. This one here uses a 30 inch, uh, you know, long uh, half inch belt. And the other ones are, I forget what size they are, but they're a little bit smaller. Uh, this one here has to be almost exact. If it's too big, it ain't going to work. If it's too small, it's only going to have reverse. So this took a little bit to get adjusted to. And of course, you have to have a spring pulling the uh, disc there back. Otherwise, it's going to try to run in reverse the whole time. But I will explain that here in a few minutes. So it works. Uh, I did a bunch of fine tuning after I shut the camera off uh, after that. So I kept, you know, adjusting the belt uh, tension with this pulley here and then shutting the engine off, which on this uh, three horse I have in here uh, is just lowering the throttle all the way down until it stalls because uh, I don't have a kill switch or anything, no spot for it without having some janky setup for that. So I just decided just to make it simple and lower the throttle all the way down. I have the screw backed out all the way on the carburetor so it just runs it out of fuel basically. So for the reverse thing, you're supposed to, this is supposed to be the only lever you push it forward, goes forward and then back for reverse and then neutrals in the middle. But the cable is missing going to the back. So somebody rigged this little piece of metal here up to tighten this. I'm like, you know what, it works. I don't have a cable the right length. This isn't quite adjusted right. So I'm just like, you know what, let's just leave it the way it is. So as you've seen in that video, this kept flipping backwards. So it's not the nicest solution, but I have a zip tie through that hole there. And then that's ran down, hooked down there. So on how this system works, you see down right in there, this like pulley looking thing here is just missing this belt. This camera would focus. So basically, I guess you can see here, it's just barely not touching it. So if I press down on this lever, it touches it. So that's how it flips it to reverse. 
So if with this lever here in neutral, these two pulleys here are not separate. This pulley here just spins on the input shaft. This one here is actually connected to the differential to the tires. So when you move this lever forward like that, it there's like a clutch right between these two pulleys that connects this larger pulley with the smaller one which moves the tractor. If you move this lever back like that, it just spins in neutral. So if you push this here down, it connects this big pulley here that's spinning all the time with this little one. And then with this touching on here, it makes it go the other direction. It's the weirdest setup I think I have ever seen for a tractor to go in reverse because it's like an afterthought type of a thing. But it works. Definitely not the strongest reverse. It wouldn't take much for this disc here to start slipping. But it does work. So, I mean, it lasted this long. So the engine I have in this, which I totally didn't explain before, is a 98cc uh, $80 engine that I found online. So i seen the price. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab it, see what I end up doing with it. And then the Briggs engine I wanted to put in here... I couldn't figure anything out for a recoil start, so it had to be electric start. And then I didn't want to do a battery and all that stuff in here, so I'm like, you know what? Let's put this engine in there and see what we get, I guess. So I think it looks pretty cool with that engine in there. And then uh, I think it's it's probably just going to stay in there unless I found, you know, like a the proper Briggs. Like I would probably more prefer like a six horse more than this eight horse. So it'd be like if I found the exact Briggs it's supposed to have, I would switch it out. But that is going to be it for this video. Uh, the next video, all of these tractors will be done. The other ones are on the other side of the wall already done. I'll show you them in that video. And then I got that side cover over there to put on. And then some, you know, detailing and stuff. When I was bending this here, I chipped all of the paint off. I already sanded it back down. So I got to paint that. Just do some, you know, little dumb things. But yeah. Uh, that is going to be it for this video. Finally got a David Bradley that everything works on the way it should. So until next time, thanks for watching.